with Mike Singer. Hey, PJ, Malone uh, gave you a shout out for your defense on PG tonight. What are the keys to getting into him and what was kind of your mindset in holding him to, I believe it was five to 21 tonight? Um, you know, just to do that, just to try to contain him. Uh, you know, he's a great, great player, uh, one of the best in the league. And, um, you know, that's, that's, that's what you try to go out and do. You try to contain him um, and, and, you know, stay into him. Uh, he, when he gets time and space, uh, you know, good things happen. So just try to uh, limit that and, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully make him miss a couple shots. Brandon Christel. I'm curious when things are clicking for you offensively, does that help fuel you defensively or do you keep those separate? And as long as one's working, you're halfway there or, or can they beat off each other for you personally? Uh, I mean, I know this team, you know, definitely needs me to, to be that guy on defense, on the defensive end, um, you know, so, uh, you know, that's always the, the main goal to come out and, and, you know, help my team on that end. And, uh, you know, I know what I'm capable of on the other end. And, uh, you know, when, when one goes in, you know, uh, that's always good for the confidence. So, Ryan Blackburn. PJ, I remember back to the game last year where Jamal turns his ankle against uh, Charlotte and you come in and have a big performance. The players swore by you then and they swore by your talent and your work ethic. What what sold them on you and, and how, how did you continue to apply that in the way that you did? Um, you know, I think, you know, my teammates just seeing me come in every day, uh, you know, uh, come in every day to get better. You know, I was doing that when I wasn't playing. Uh, and, you know, still continue to do that now that I am playing. Um, and, you know, it's, it's nothing like having teammates and coaching staff that have the, you know, utmost trust in you, um, you know, and, and have confidence in you. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I have to have confidence in myself. So, uh, you know, I have to go out and, and get the job done. Leonardo Torres. Hi, PJ. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. PJ, the team shot 66.7% from the field in the last quarter. This is a way to show that the team is ready to win this kind of close games? Uh, definitely. You know, I feel like uh, when, when you have the MVP on your team, um, you know, Nikola Jokic leads that charge all the time, um, you know, and, and when the going gets tough, we're going to make sure we have, we have the ball in his hands and he makes the right plays for everybody else. And, you know, we have a great team and, and you know, us guys are going to be ready to step up and, and make those shots. Mike Singer. What impact did it have having Jamal on the sideline tonight? And was he an active participant in all the timeouts? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we was able to, to see him at the hotel prior to the game. And, um, you know, you just felt felt the uh, energy lift, um, you know, when, when he walked in, um, you know, we cheered for him. Uh, just, just good to have our brother back. Uh, good to see him, uh, see him doing well at that, you know. Uh, we just wanted to make sure his spirits were high. And, you know, he definitely brought that, that next level of energy that we needed. Um, you know, I heard him personally on the, on the sideline uh, when I was in the game the whole game. So, you know, it was great to have him uh, there at the game with us. And, you know, we look forward to him being back with the team. Esteban Abed. Hi, PJ. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, considering your job tonight in, on defense and offense, uh, do you feel that this is one of your best game of this season? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I try to get better every game. Um, you know, whether the shot is falling or not, um, you know, whether my matchup is is hitting tough shots or not. You know, I try to continue to get better night in and night out, uh, and I, I take it uh, one game at a time. And uh, you know, that's my, that's been my approach, and that's that's going to continue be, to be my approach. Matt Moore, PJ, what is it that you, that you specifically think you guys are doing well right now? Like, what are the the actual things that is helping you get these wins night after night? What's the defensive mindset? The very specific things that you think they when you guys watch film you notice that you guys are doing great defensively? Um, just, you know, when we 
uh, limit the, the things that have been hurting us in the past, you know, transition. Um, you know, that's been a, a huge uh, focus point on, on our defensive end, getting back in transition. Um, and, you know, when, when we're able to set our defense and, and play five on five, we're a great team. Um, you know, and I think that's that's where it starts. So, you know, to be able to play five on five and, and not give up those easy transition buckets um, that we have done in the past, you know, that, that uh, has a huge impact for us. All right, PJ, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Joel Rush. Hey, PJ, congrats on the win. Uh, you mentioned the importance of trust among you guys. And uh, last season, the Nuggets signed you to a two-way contract. And tonight, you're on national TV guarding Paul George. Uh, what does it mean to you that Coach Malone and his staff just placed that kind of trust in you? Uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know, I've been waiting my whole life to have this opportunity uh, to showcase my talents. Um, and, you know, to be able to come to an organization that, you know, allowed me to do that. and. Uh, like you said, you know, had the confidence in me to, to do so, to go out there and perform. Um, you know, that's all as a as a player, that's all I can ask for. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to take care of the rest. All right. That'll do it. Thank you, PJ. Thank you.